I think this one started kind of late too. I think Microsoft's went longer than expected. And then this one started at like an awkward time. Because it's 2 15 right now. I thought it started right at 2 o'clock, but. I mean. It's starting. Two minutes. I'm expecting a whole lot of collabs with Sony for the Square Enix showcase. Because Final Fantasy 16 is supposed to be like. Uh. I don't think it's completely exclusive. I think it's like time exclusive to Sony. I know, you know, Integrate is exclusive to Sony right now. Final Fantasy VII Remake as a whole is, is still exclusive to Sony right now. I think they got another half a year ex exclusivity or something like that. Which I don't, I don't really know if those times can be extended, but they got Integrate. Integrate is a in an exclusive like DLC for Final Fantasy VII on the Sony platform. So who knows when we see Final Fantasy come into Xbox and PC anytime soon. We don't know. Like we can find out today. Or it could just be more of the same with you know Square Enix and Sony collabing on all this stuff. Everything else Square Enix has been doing has been like mediocre. So like we don't really know what's next. So let's see if they got some surprises for us. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Mercer here, and I'm back as your host of Square Enix Presents. Today, we have a special E3 edition of the show for you, with new game announcements, updates, and exciting news from our studios across the globe. So let's kick off with the world premiere of a brand new game from Idos Montreal. We hope you enjoy the show. All right, kicking off with a new IP. I like that. What you all got for me? Space. I'm so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is? I'm liking the space thing. Like everybody's going into space, and I kind of like that. Oh, Guardians of the Something Galaxy. That's a part of you. Like your name. Why? Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No, Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. Oh, he doesn't have their faces from the Marvel franchise. So we got fined. We appear to be 6,963 units short. I know, we clearly need a plan. Oh, that's that. No. Drax, roll. No. You want monster? I'll show you monster. No, we just roll. Keep your pants on. Although it could be used as a distraction. Smash him up, Drax. Make your maker. We're all professionals here, right? Maybe we can work something out. Here. You had one job, Will. I did exactly what? Come on, no killing teammates. That's who? It's literally in your contract. I made no such commitments. In less than three cycles, all would be lost. The galaxy cannot be saved. I mean, I kind of like the new character models. Together. Like, they're in-game personas. Like, it, it looks weird as hell in the Avengers game. Maybe because we had the Avengers for so long. Guardians of the Galaxy are pretty new. Yeah, so all their, like, in-game characters are refreshing, I, I guess. Because they're all in kind of costume. That actually looked interesting. I'm not even gonna fake it. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you. I'll call you. <laughs> what the fuck was that? 
this year? Hi, my name is Olivier Brains Brains Senior fast. Producer here at IDOS Montreal. For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, they look good. And we imagine it they don't look a bad, though. Like, when I saw the Avengers game, third person and I saw how they game. made the Avengers it's look, they instantly looked like, what the, the fuck is this? It's something it's not that's Avengers. Really like, everybody looked kind of strange. Get to Mostly because Peter we got so As used Star -Lord, you're to seeing in the, middle the live action, action versions of them. tried to lead this band of misfits. But today, and I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on those this faces just You'll got hear so more about the with game us from with, like, our the team characters. behind this project. Right, let's do this. But Star Lord and like I've always loved Marvel's cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, I don't really, them, loved them. I, I don't really uh, see the Chris Pratt when I heard Star Lord, for even though he is. Some of their cosmic or is he not Chris I Pratt? Back Who the fuck the is he? Bill Roseman, the editor. And or is he Chris Pratt? I forget. I forget who plays past. Star Lord now. The opportunity here was to like Batista's in makeup, make Gamora's in makeup. So, so like, the would think, oh my gosh, how they is this team survive? they don't and have a like the identity the to comic, them because they just look a certain way. And like Ratchet I is a first time that the Marvel crew is a came to Montreal. Raccoon. We were he showing make them another raccoon the model. characters, how they would look. And he looks more like himself silent. in the movies than anybody minutes, else. But in my head, Except it was Groot. A minute. I was like, you know, Groot oh still God, looks God, like Groot. You can't make him not be Groot. How much that Marvel and Idols Montreal share have in common and that we knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Idols were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. What makes the gameplay experience unique to me is no matter in what phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or you're fighting, the Guardians are constantly around you and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the Guardians will also challenge you and make decisions on their own and you will have to adapt to it. You are literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The decisions you'll make will have light-hearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. Gamora, no killing teammates! That's who! It's literally in your contract! I made no such I mean, the comedy that they got into the game, you like, even inside all the, like, moments like that, that's Guardians of the Galaxy. It, lo it looks like Star it's gonna work. This is really empowering. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, he has his own I mean, combat looks kind of trash. Different powers like, as well. And on top of all of this, the mechanics he can of use it? the unique abilities of his guardians. But like, yeah, you have all your teammates with you. We're not pirates. You. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. The Gardeners. story is about the because of of fucking group. the guardians. In our world, they've been together for less than a year they create something on a small scale that looks insignificant and as they progress through the story they discover that they created something really big that threatens the galaxy there are a lot of very interesting villains in the marvel franchise and when you're starting to work on a story like this you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story that gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well known, but some that are also not all that well known. What Ados is getting so right about them is capturing what it's like to be a misfit fan. Down, bro. We're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're gonna see planets and characters that are gonna the blow game your looks mind. fucking good. Interpreting though. it in its own way, I think, makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make the best version of Guardians out of that. Yeah, they and it, it, it definitely works a lot for they Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, want. it didn't work that well for in Avengers because game. them niggas are established, like, big time. When you see Iron Man, you see Tony Stark everywhere, bro. You see Robert Downey Jr. every time. Like, that's the only Iron Man people want. So when you got this random-ass nigga in an Iron Man suit, you're not Iron Man. Like, you're cooked. Guardians of the Galaxy don't have that. Uh, oh, yeah, look. The Sony collabs. You know the Sony collabs were coming. This is the star screen. This is kind of nice. I like the, like, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? The cyberpunk like mirror thing because that's what cyberpunk is doing and they're like units trailers and shit units short we intend to keep our ship peter quill i know i know we clearly need a plan what about selling gamora's crap what oh come on you've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us i mean 
Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always a out on My us, well. figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble, and you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. Of course. I will sacrifice your head. And take us to the majestic mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am group. The only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. A I small, ugly one is am the correct choice. Groot. It's, cruel, sadistic, <laughs> it's crazy how much Vin Diesel was getting rage. paid to say that shit group. over and over again. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well. But do I we get Teen Group and I Baby Group? for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Or is that gonna Peter? be the second game? I might have to buy this shit unless it's like well, partially Rocket's exclusive to Sony for like six months, inside. which Square Enix does that a lot. Oblivious to the needs of so it's as expected <laughs> okay, we, if it does yeah. happen. All right, let's do if it's this. not, let's then, go you know. sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of this ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. We're flying the wrong way. No, he's not flying at all. You guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure Fucking it out dumb, on the bro. way. It's an impregnable <laughs> fortress. How do we impregnate it? <laughs> there is nothing to figure out. <laughs> that is Guardians of the Galaxy, bro. Like, the Hellbender. banter that they have is definitely, like, what you get All from the group. The and part. this is a I really good, uh... Rendition of that. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Gamora looked like she was running hella fast, but she wasn't moving. <laughs> Jacket, all right. At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. You are welcome, Feeble One. We got this. Just don't fall. They are hella fine. funny. Where is my boy Groot? Oh no. Oh, that looks. That looks living. But those things alive? That looked fleshy at first. I thought it was like okay. plant moss on a rock. We should have gone to Maku Four. I would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know, when I survive freaking half world, I think I'm scared of some little. Black. It's not alone. Get ready. Hell, dude. They are amorphous vermin. Shoot first. Questions later. Oh. This won't hurt much. I like that. Attack on Titan 2 has that. Really, you can command your teammates like mid battle. This is kind of nice. I don't know what the fuck the book bar was. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Dead end. That's just great. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What do you not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. <laughs> the dysfunctional Put me team. Down. I it like this. Be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, 
throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's okay, he'll land on his feet. Ooh, uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut bust an act! I am not familiar with these words. Order the beast to do its job. Fuck it, come on, man! Ram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. Dash is funny. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, scud again. Hear that? Uh guys. More jelly. I got it. Oh, it's eating the jelly. I'm enjoying all the gameplay. I was not expecting this to be this extensive. But it is coming this year, so they're showing it like buy this game, please. We need the money. Hopefully it doesn't get hit with with the buggy ass cheese that uh what is it called? Outriders got. Are they doing team battle? What the fuck? Don't get too close to that map. They got a team motion. Yeah, fucking joke. <laughs> oh shit, this game is just getting better and better. Holy shit, she's fast. Encounter two. What the fuck is that encounter six. thing? Peter, aren't you forgetting something? Are you Groot? I am Groot. Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the Flark thing was looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. Oh, what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. I am Groot. Yeah, we noticed. I am Groot. If you want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. They're I'll best friends. Drac. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing like me, only uh, bigger. I am Groot. Not bad. <laughs> Groot is the best. He's gonna sell this game. So, visually appealing someone else wants to the banter thing. is lovely I don't know how much of it is going to be actually in the game or how long the game is going to be but that was fucking a, that was a good piece of I like what they showed of the game. He's probably gonna get repetitive as hell, but he does have a whole lot of like different things to do. What the fuck? Rocket has an OP ass ultimate. Problem. 
I mean, it's coming to all platforms. That's cool, though. Oh, of course they sell in skins. They have to. It wouldn't be Square Enix. Now we're going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. First up, relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series. And then get one more peek at Legend of Mana ahead of its June 24th launch. No. Nobody asked for that. Nobody wanted 2D pixels. Up res to 4K resolution though. Everyone before 7, nobody cared about. This says Steam and Mobile. What? Mana, a PlayStation and Nintendo game. Up next, Earth's mightiest heroes continue their fight to defend the world in Marvel's Avengers. No. The team at Crystal Dynamics is excited to share the latest updates with you, including new mission types and a growing roster of heroes. No. We don't care about your new skins, Crystal Dynamics. Avengers? Secure that super weapon at all costs. Yo, like, check out our new skin. Thor in a lumberjack outfit. Every second counts, people. Keep it moving. I don't know what the fuck that Black Widow outfit was. Beautiful. Like bright orange. See, this is this is what's strange. Like looking at these Avengers, like I don't think their character models. Like, <laughs> it's just a strange look for them compared to how the Guardians of the Galaxy look. The Guardians of the what Galaxy, they look mean? great. Aim will save this I will save it. But like, there looking at that, that Captain America, like, you don't look like Captain America, you bro. You don't even you look heroic. They're just looking at their battle passes. Or their, what do you call it? Their, um. What do you call it? The roadmap. The roadmap. Who was that, Taz? Yeah, that was Taz. They're fighting Old Man Hulk. And then War for Wakanda is coming. If only the game was good. I applaud your efforts to connect with your roots, but as a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall, I must warn you of a few things. Many eyes follow the path you are about to walk down. It is claw. Oh, this old dude that steals the fucking vibranium. Now say 
say the same thing. They chasing the fame. They all want the name. I mean, it didn't look bad, but like... Now it's time to give mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be How available in the be? coming months. Probably like... Good evening, 426. One or two hours? Our intelligence reports Maybe? a new threat to global stability. Their reach is unlike anything we have seen before. Oh, yeah. Uh, Following Agent 47's Agent disappearance, 47, you were selected because of your remarkable skills. Execution must be perfect. Oh, that bullet was like from the shadows, and they will Why never the know what hit them. I'm like, what the fuck is Will Smith doing with a sniper? A sad and beautiful tale uh, that, that echoes is, uh... throughout eternity. The first mobile God entry damn. in the Near series, Near yeah, reincarnation. Near. More mobile Final Fantasy, bro. Like, stop that. Strange is going mobile hard. Another mobile game? What did I just miss? Yeah, another mobile game. What the fuck was it like three mobile games in a row? Today, the team at Platinum Games is giving you an exclusive look at the epic world of Babylon's Fall, featuring All fluid right, combat, powerful Babylon. weapons, and a unique art style. Built over a thousand years, it was meant to be a tower of dreams. Is this near the for a murky? thousand more, it was seen as oh, a tower is. of Never ruin. Mind. Yeah, it's like splash painting. Persevering through fire and ice and the coldest of winds, eventually the tower became a symbol of unrelenting ambition. That tower's name is Babylon. The Babylonian tower. Does the savior of Neo-Babylon stand among us? Let's find out without further ado. Is this an MMO? On to die, then I'll die for hope, for what little hope there may be. Oh yeah, you can see the near in it. Seen through the veil at last, have you? But for some reason, why do everything look We're so all low resolution? Of our I think it's the art style. Reality. I don't know if it's the art style or just like the the uh believe the render quality of the video. And you like to end up seeing only you see what it you believe. Kind of, like like washed out. But it could just be the art style. Cause that is detail. That wall is really detailed. Everything else no, just looks kind of too close. Like look at the hair. The... Ascend to the heavens above the tower of fall. 
like this one now. Yeah, look at the hair. Before you. Now begins its tale of both hope and despair. Wait, was the PlayStation 5 version of the game a big deal?プレイヤーが、えっと、プレイヤーはま、ストーリーを追いながらダンジョンをクリアして、上層を目指していくと入手する装備や素材を集めて自身を強化してカスタマイズしていくと。ゲームのスタイルとしては、ま、オーソドックスなあの、ハックアンドス
Back in March, we also revealed color. the next major game in the series. Some detail in Life is the Strange face a True Colors. Bit, but that's a small about town it. supernatural and mystery. They're reselling it? Alex Chen must uncover the truth behind her brother's death, using her psychic power of empathy to unravel the shocking secrets of Haven Springs. Today, we have a first look at Alex's unique power in action. Here's game director Zach Garris for more. Alex's psychic power of empathy is integral to the story of Life is Strange True Colors. It impacts every relationship she builds and every decision she makes. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. For years, Alex has been unable to shut out the strong feelings of others. The fear, sadness, and anger of those around her, leading her to believe her power is a curse. In the wake of Gabe's death, Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth is to embrace her power. I can't believe this is happening. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. From the very start, you can use Alex's power to focus on brightly colored auras to gain an insight into people's emotions. Kate was too young. Just too young. These valuable insights deepen Alex's relationships with the folk of Haven Springs, as well as sparking new Chelsea? dialogue options and events, as here from a scene very early on in the game. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. Oh, the Alex has uncovered a secret that Mac wants to keep hidden from his long-term girlfriend. And now he is terrified that Alex will reveal it before he can talk to Riley. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. Listen. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. But are we still together? Are you serious? I need to get back to work. Sure, Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. When Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, she can reach out to actively connect with that person's emotions. This generates a Nova, a supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can experience fragments of thoughts and memories to get to the root of their issue. But not every emotional crisis can be easily dealt with. Some carry a dangerous, even life-threatening amount of power. He's dead! I wish I were too. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. This anger could kill her. What if I could just take it away? Using Alex's power is the only way you can uncover the truth behind her brother's death. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? How far will you go in pursuit of that truth? The choice is yours. I mean, I don't remember the plot twist of the original. Alex's powers but look that one so looks like awesome. it's gonna destroy I have your no brain idea how I'll make some of these to choices. Help everybody else but I can't wait to play it with you all with when it comes out on September 10th. Don't forget, you can pre-order Life about is Strange the main True Colors is feeling about now. Whoever died. And if you choose the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. And that's it for yeah, today. Really Make sure to follow again. the all Life is Strange social like channels for more. A couple, a couple paint jobs on some people's faces. Hopefully it's what the fans want of that game. September 10th is not bad. And now, we are excited to unveil a brand new title from Square Enix Japan. Square Enix Japan, let's go. I don't know what they're making. I haven't even, I didn't even know they had a Japan studio, but they always in Japan. I'm here to kill chaos. That's my mission. Oh, Team Ninja is making it. Looks I know like Team Ninja chaos is. has been waiting for us. He gonna make us go in there and find you? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. 
I only know one thing. I want to you kill like Cloud. Chaos. You fight like Cloud. You need to. It's not a hope. Oh, that dream. was tough. It's like a hunger. Thirst. Move aside. Bro is vicious. You're dust. He really just so out here just Kratos and niggas. Yeah, they can only squash monsters for so long. I hate doing pest control. This is the shrine of chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. Feel the pain. I mean, combat but doesn't look. I think I can taste it. You this know, is it. substantial. No but like him executing them like this is freaking good. There was a knight who left on the same journey as you. Combat just looks kind of soft. Like when he was whacking the, was the dog thing with the sword, like it didn't look like he was doing any fucking damage. Chaos. Chaos. I mean, you're having a good brawl, you know. Like, look, like he, Chaos was not reacting to those hits, but when it goes to execution mode, like it's fire. And who are you? We're here to kill Chaos. The prophecy's very own warriors of light. Real. He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. It's Garlic! No. I become Chaos. <clears throat> oh, it is a Final Fantasy game. No wonder he fights like Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> but that was cross-platform demo available soon oh there's the playstation collab i'll leave you with a look at some of the amazing i wonder if they're just best friends now, as well as or does sony just pay for all of this i hate to be the bearer of bad news but just hit me with it i'm gonna drop plate number seven they're gonna do what how is she blocking bullets without even moving the thing Integrate. This game looks so good. Like visually. Outriders were garbage. Don't even show that. Forspoken. Oh yeah, that's the new game. New Final Fantasy game. That's the MMO. Guardians of the Galaxy was really good. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you. I'll call you. <laughs> Thank that, you for I need joining to see us today. that. I need Keep more of that. What was he doing with the tentacle presents. thing? I'm Matt Mercer.